first, we have a very extensive communication from uh, Lucas Valley Estates Homeowners Association objecting to rentals in Creekside Park. Shane, for not everybody knows the area as well as you do, tell all of us where Creekside Park is and what new, improved rental program do you have in mind? So, okay. So, <laughs> the, uh, and do it quickly. Creekside Park is up in Lucas Valley Estates. Um, you took the bridge gate exit. Um, it's a large park up there. I think most of you have been up there. The improvements that have been done is basically the park staff have an extensive cleaning up there, some new plantings, uh, sanded tables, you know, just standard upkeep, upkeep that's been deferred for a lot of years. But um, one of our park guys, Marco, kind of went above and beyond and just made it a really beautiful looking park. Um, not spending a lot of money, but just a lot of time and effort. Uh, the commission was toying with ideas about renting out literally just the shaded area for two picnic tables. You know, we're talking kids' birthday parties with 10, 15 kids. <coughs> Nothing beyond that scope. Uh, just to kind of just just to bring in some revenue, like our park does here, to help offset some of the expenditures we have up there. And uh, you know, like we said, it's a beautiful park, and there's not really uh, there's no way to book it up there. There is shade for the first time there. Um, what the new dwelling we put. In addition, uh, there was talks about putting some sort of a bathroom up there, um, not just for kids' birthday parties, but there's been requests over the years from parents, you know, taking their kids up there and there's no where to go to the bathroom. Also, there's a tennis court there, so tennis players. I was just up there a few weeks ago, and a group of uh, doubles players were asking when we put the bathroom up there. So it was literally in, you know, a discussion phase, and we even said we were putting it off till spring to discuss it further because nothing was going to happen at this point because of you know, there's not much to the season left at this point. Uh, so yeah, I guess some people from Lucas Valley Estates, homeowners read the minutes. They called, talked to Eric, talked to myself. I talked to Bruce, told him, you know, he was thinking music in the park was going to be happening up there. I told him, you know, we're talking literally kids' birthday parties. There's no amplified music allowed up there. There's no alcohol allowed up there. Uh, you know, and he seemed to calm down, but then we, you know, we got we received this letter, so that that's the gist of the story. Okay, that's the context, and it's correspondence, and is not a subject for debate. Um, Could we pass sure. to have uh, another response to another follow-up call? To um, I mean, what I would suggest would be that um, <clears throat> going beyond just a reassurance of well, we were just thinking of this would be to actually maybe attend, I'm not sure when their meetings are, or how often they are, how open they are, but um, because it is a homeowners association and not a public group, but um, to maybe engage a little bit more to see if uh, it's like a z absolute nothing, nothing, not even like two children. Yeah, and I told them that they're more than welcome to come and if we discuss this in the future, come spring to come to our meeting, we'd be happy to go over, you know, anything, any questions they had. And I told them that it's something that would have to go to the board, it wasn't like you know we're making a decision to start charging you know for picnic tables there. My suggestion is because the letter is so extensive that it needs a written response to yeah. make yeah. sure that they that they feel as if their concerns here are being addressed and if anything just that they know that nothing's actually being sure. done. Or yeah, and I did send him an email responding and with links to he was asking about what we do here just for the group picnic rentals okay. to put it in context. Um, but yeah, I mean I'm happy to. I told him I'd be happy to meet with him even up there walking through and kind of show him what we were. I just want to be able to. We need something on record yeah, to be able to say that somebody else later on doesn't say, We wrote you sure. this extensive thing and you never responded, and blah, blah, I would like to have a record for sure. as part right. of good district uh, you know, measures, just right. acknowledging all these concerns and so putting them in context. context. Thank you. And no, if you can also just, just include that there is no actual proposal for.